Hey everyone, it's Curly Hero, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Stairway to the Destin Duel. Last time, we unfortunately had to take on Yami Bukura. We managed to get a win. It's a pretty easy duel. Uh, but then this championship came up, so we decided to take a break from trashing Bukura, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. See how this is. Hello participants and welcome to the duel tournament. This is where you can find out if you learn anything from day-to-day -day dueling. The tournament is played in matches. Each winner is awarded a special commemorative pack of cards. So give it your best. Now, here's your opponent you'll be facing. Let's see. Oh great, that's Baroba. At this level of play, there's no point in wasting my psychic powers. After all, the monsters you have don't amount to much. Ugh. That's for always such a dumb duelist. Such a waste, but whatever. I, uh, feeling pretty good about this game. I mean, I know it's probably, um, not too exciting. Oh, yeah, I also changed up my deck quite a bit, so I have stupid cards like Monster Eye, but I also have Mechanical Chaser and stuff, which is, uh, funny because that's the reasons. One of the reasons why I hate uh, Esper Robo, because he's a shitty duelist. But he used to give me a lot of trouble just because he has Mechanical Chaser. And at the time, I didn't have anything to counteract that, so that really sucked. But he even sucks more now because he has an Acid Crawler. That's fucking dumb. Anyways, yeah, I feel pretty good about this game because I uh, kind of played it on the whim last time. Um, and then I really like, well, yeah, mm, do I want to do that? No. I think I want to keep it to try and get a monster out of it. Um... I guess I just summon Mechanical Chaser. Ah! Light of Intervention. Well, who cares? <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, Dark ho uh, Trap Hole. It's a good thing I didn't play Fire Dragon, but never mind. It's not even close. Uh, yeah, I played on a whim last time, and it went pretty well. At least, I don't. I mean, I haven't seen how the video went. I don't really concern myself with how my videos do when they go up, because uh, I have, like, not a huge following or anything like that. So I'm not really concerned with that. Uh, but myself, I had a good time making the videos, which was pretty interesting because usually when it comes to videos, I like to take a bunch of time, come up with like, you know, the perfect game to play, the perfect thing to talk about, you know, this and that. And to think that I just went on and played fucking this game and just had a good time uh, is just astounding to me. <laughs> just interesting how like the simple things are what work. Um, so I don't know. I guess that's just a lesson for myself. I'm gonna end up forgetting that later on and still end up doing stupid shit like taking too long and not letting things progress because I want it to be a certain way and etc etc. But the um, it's I don't know, maybe it's just Yu Gi Oh! We just have a good thing going because, like, my uh, Yu Gi Oh! if you don't know, was the first series I ever did on YouTube. Uh, well. Mm. Is it? <laughs> Alright, uh, it's the first video I uploaded. That's the first Let's Play video I uploaded. That was Yu Gi Oh! The Eternal Duel of Soul. Um, the first video I ever actually recorded and, you know, rendered and edited and everything successfully was the first Prince of Tennis video. So, uh, kind of like that whole Pokemon thing, like which one came first, or Chicken and the Egg. Uh, whichever one you want to count as my first video. But, um, my first actual series, I'll definitely count as, um, freaking Eternal Duel of Soul. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Mm. I actually managed to finish that, which was shocking, and uh, it's just interesting because that's not really a fun game to watch, per se. Uh, it's no more fun than this is. I mean, it's the thing with this game is just it's really old and outdated, especially now. But at the same time, it has its charm, given the fact that it's, you know, so old. Uh, a lot of people like you know, sort of older cars, and a lot of people don't like, for example, a lot of people dropped out from GX, so they don't like, you know, the newer characters and stuff. So seeing, like, the older characters, like, you know, Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, etc., uh, is refreshing to them. And I really like seeing that, or not so much refreshing, uh, nostalgic, <laughs> which is the opposite of refreshing, actually. Um, so maybe that's why the videos did well, maybe it's also, maybe it's a game that a lot of people played growing up, I don't really know. But I, I don't know, I would see a lot of random people watching those videos and I'm just like, why? <laughs> That's not a good video. <laughs> those videos are bad. Um, but not bad, it's just not exactly the greatest things I've made. So, I don't know. 
Um, I can't really do too much. I mean, I guess I can summon Toad Defense Shogun just so that um, he can't attack me. But that's about it. But yeah, um, I, I don't know something about you know recording this because I've been in oh shit, thank God I have Magic Jammer. I've been in somewhat of a slump. Like I haven't been uh, get rid of Yami. That's the next card I'm gonna ditch once I get a good card. Um, I haven't been in so much of a slump as I've been, you know, before, but, like, as soon as I, like, caught up with October and I finished recording all that, and I got ahead in November, I kind of didn't want to do anything for a while. I was kind of just kind of there. Um, you know, just not really recording. This guy's a doofus, but I can't capitalize on it. Um, I wasn't really doing too much. I was kind of just taking a break early, unfortunately. Uh, which isn't good, cause I, like I haven't been behind completely. The only thing I missed was I missed a uh, jump ultimate stars video that I was supposed to upload, but that's cause like the election happened. <laughs> so with all of that going on, I kind of I didn't uh, record anything just cause of it happened. Um, I'm not really gonna talk about that now, but uh, we'll just uh, leave that as it is. And um, yeah. I just haven't really felt like uploading too much. Like, I've been looking forward to more, eh, somewhat, the stuff that I'm going to be doing in January. To an extent, just because I'm kind of worried about how that's going to turn out. So I'm spending a lot more time worrying whether or not I'm going to get it to be how I like it to be, and if I'm going to finish it in time, than actually being like, like, I'm trading off between that and then being like, this is going to be awesome, I can't wait to work on this, etc, etc. Uh, so I've been having a lot of issues with that, and then that just kind of made me, like, not want to record anything, especially since uh, I finished up. I think by now everything's done. Yeah, everything by now should be done. Uh, so I finished up, you know, Mega Man Zero, and I finished up, um, hmm, actually some Burferment. Burferment has 21, so that's not gonna be great. Oh, it'd be great if I can just get rid of one of these monsters and keep a monster on the field. Um, yeah, I finished up Mega Man Zero 2. I finished up, unfortunately, the Pokemon Morimon Nuzlocke, um, which I don't think I'm gonna end up continuing. And uh, I've just been doing, you know, Jump Ultimate Stars, and I've been trying to find a replacement for uh, Mega Man Zero. And I was also trying to find a replacement for. Ooh, sweet, kind of chaser, just what I needed. Trying to find a replacement for uh, the Mormon Nuzlocke, which is one. This is one of those two. <laughs> I don't remember which is which. But uh, in between, you know, trying to figure stuff out, I kind of, kind of like just my. And this came along, and I just had a really good time. That one night I recorded, I just recorded straight. Cause usually I have troubles out recording, and like I'll end up spending a lot of time trying to fix that issue. Like I had, you know, the first time I recorded this, cause I was actually supposed to be recording a different game, and uh, it just didn't want to work. <laughs> so then I was kind of like, ah, oh, well, that's pits. And then you know I just recorded this, and it was fine, and I managed to get three episodes easy. Cause I try to do that every day. I try to see if I can record like three episodes a day. Because uh, I don't want to record, I don't want to get into the habit of recording like seven episodes a day because then I just get worn out. And by the like the fourth episode or the third episode, I'm already boring and I just frustrated and want to get it over with. Um, and I can't do one video a day just because I don't think that's enough. Uh, and I'll definitely want to do more constantly and it'll get to the point where like, oh, well, I'll do four a day. Or, you know, uh, I didn't do some of these days, so I'll just record it, you know, that kind of shit. Um, so instead, well, do can you just let me summon fucking thing? Stop being such a bitch. Uh, he doesn't have anything useful in his graveyard, right? No, no important. I mean, I guess I can summon Air Eater. That's basically the same card. Um, and I guess I can get rid of Defense Shogun for Pirate Dragon here. I remember Defense Shogun being like my favorite card for a while, just because like the computer couldn't do anything about it, and I would just boost him up with a bunch of cards. But yeah, anyways, um, I just find it a lot easier to record three times a day because I feel like it gets me to where I need to be so I get all my videos done and I can sort of edit them perfectly, perfect math there, uh, and get them to the point where um, on Saturdays, which is usually Saturday and Sunday, is usually where I do all my editing because that's usually when I'm home, um, or at least home the most. Um, so it, it works out the best for me. My, my monster, no, it lost. What more can we say? We have ourselves a winner, and now here's your prize. Fucking garbage is my prize. 
that was useless. I got a stone dragon here. I used to like this card because I thought the art looked cool, but fucking, it's completely useless because it's a seven star monster. Is Esperoba around? Because I'd like to beat his ass again. Ugh, what are the odds that one of these is Esperoba? Um, right, I guess I'll finish up Bakura in this episode. Might as well. See if it's gonna be Yami or normal. Ha! <laughs> now, if minor ghoulists like you ever found. Wait. How? Sorry, missed a word. How a minor duel like you ever found the nerve to challenge me? You do know who you're up against, don't you? Whatever, Bakura. You suck. <laughs> Stop pretending like you're hot shit uh, when all you do is fucking sit around and be malicious and then you do one thing and then that's it. It wasn't even that great. Uh, fuck. I guess I'll go on with Battle Axe first. Keep saying axe when it's actually ox. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see what he's gonna do. Hopefully, he's gonna do stupid shit like he did last time and fill up his deck with. Uh, not his deck, his field with. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Ah, uh, with the final little. Final destination or. Destiny board. I keep saying final destination. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and summon, I guess, this. And uh, let's go ahead and attack. And hopefully, he activates. Destiny board and then some other useless cards to take up space. Alright, you're gonna bounce that to my hand, that's fine. And uh, I guess I'll just end my turn. I really need to get rid of Yami because I don't really use spellcasters or fiend monsters like uh, exclusively. So that's kind of pointless. Alright, so he doesn't really have anything. Um, hmm. I guess I can summon. Do I have anything kind of strong? No. So the strongest thing I have is this, and it's probably gonna summon something to destroy it, so I guess I'll worry about that next turn. I want to summon it. Uh, something I can have on field that's not Mechanical Chaser, just so I could have enough to attack in the next turn bring out Summon Skull, but don't have a choice, because I don't want to lose Mechanical Chaser. Summon Skull is not too much stronger, and that's gonna happen. So <laughs> there's no point in me getting rid of Mechanical Chaser for Summon Skull just to have shit like that happen, obviously. Uh, but that's a good thing. Sucks if I would have summoned, or it would have been great if I had summoned the other card. The, uh, this is Dark World Thorns, this is a man eating plant. If I had summoned man eating plant instead and he had to use Regeki, I would have been really happy. But what are you gonna do? What is he gonna do? Nothing. Because he's the worst duelist ever. Um, I guess we'll just summon our plants, because fuck it. <laughs> man eating plant! Dark World! Dark World? Yeah, Dark World Thorns! Team up attack! Or, uh, cards that look exactly the same, but are completely different just because they have different names <laughs> and different attack power, but it's literally the same card reversed. Go! Let's see what else he's got. He should have just made them the same attack. I should have made them the same exact attacks, just different. <laughs> Alright, no, that would have been pointless. Ow, that hurts, but that lets me draw two cards. That's fine. And, hey, what do you know? I got here my buddy Fizuda. Hey, where is it? Fissure. Fizuda. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Final Flame just cause fuck it. Uh, and then I guess I just finished him off with Summon Skull. I mean, that was the most uh, anticlimactic way. I went through an entire championship to face off Bakura again just to have him do fucking nothing. See ya, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, I suck. God damn it. Blah, 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 blah. I also looked up to see which one of these uh, sort of uh, boosters is great. Uh, basically, all of these suck. This one, as I remember, only has Ritual. This one apparently has really good cards. Uh, this one has really good cards. I don't remember about this one. These suck. This one is okay, kind of. Uh, this is horrible. Uh, I think this is a new one, actually, so let's see what this has. Uh, I always thought this card was interesting. I uh, thought that one card looked kind of cool. Warrior Tradition I kind of like, but it's a fusion. Uh, Gus Fan, and ooh, Giant Red Sea Snake. Not bad. Go ahead and uh, add that to our deck real quick. Uh, I don't think there's anything else interesting that we got. Um, quite honestly, just really a Giant Sea Snake. And I don't think there's any other magic cards that I can use to get rid of uh, Yumi. I like a, a decent magic card, but everything sucks, and Gus Fan is only for, like, what, flying-type monsters or wind-type monsters? I don't have a lot of those, I'm sure. Um, blue magic, nah. 
or blue medicine, I should say. She spells garbage. Fusion Sage is probably a little bit more useful, but I doubt I'm really gonna. I mean, I guess whatever. Better than Yumi. Uh, let's go ahead now and just get rid of uh, this dumb card. And uh, what monster can we get rid of? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll get rid of uh, Total Defense Shogun right now. I mean, I guess I'll, I could get rid of Celtic Guardian. Don't really plan on using him too much. I'm trying to make this my own deck as much as possible and a little less Yu Gi like. Um, but that does it. So, next time we'll uh, do something else. <laughs> or rather, take on someone else. Stay fresh.